Whoa, you guys! All this uproar and fights going on around Scream 6 and Neth Campbell not returning? Like, let's be civilized! I get it, I get it! You are true stands, but let's let's take it down a notch. People are ruthless on Twitter about this the entire day. My Twitter feed has been people fighting over this situation. Like, in one hand, I'm like, yo, sit down. But in the other, I'm kind of like... Like proud at how some of you really love Scream and Sydney and Neff Campbell, so so good for you. I'm, I'm kind of glad to be part of, of that community, but um, but is this really the way to get what you want? I know a lot of you are upset that Neff Campbell is now returning and that you will not be watching Scream Six or supporting the movie if she's not there. But if this is this really the way to get what you want? To complain and go so hard against Scream 6. If you love a franchise so much, just trust the makers. Let's see in a year if what they deliver is actually good. Because one, you're gonna look really foolish knocking the movie right now, and in a year you're like, oh my god, it's so good, I loved it. Like, don't do that, okay? Just be quiet for now and wait until it comes out, and if it's terrible, then knock it down. Because there's still a chance it might be good, okay? However, complaining might actually be working already. I'm so shocked by this, okay? Because a reliable Scream news outlet called HelloSydney.com reported that production for Scream 6, which started filming today in Montreal, has now been delayed a few days, maybe more. So could this mean they're renegotiating with Nev Campbell after all this Twitter fandom uproar over the weekend? She did confirm, though, uh, with Deadline that she passed on the movie due to her pay not being what she is worth and the value that she brings to the franchise. So it has nothing to do with the bad script or Sydney's involvement in the movie. It's more about money. So it sure is a possibility that they are negotiating her, negotiating with her again. It's happened before in other movies and franchises, so this could be very true. What do you think? I'm so curious now to know what everybody's saying about this. Would they pay her what she is worth to make her come back? Is it worth it? And would it make Scream 6 a better movie with her being involved? What do you think? I'm so curious. I still believe it's best Sydney not be involved because I just don't see a reason, a good reason for her to come back into a potentially fatal situation for her when she has kids now and family. She's finally living a pseudo quasi happy existence. Thank you, Randy. So really, we're going to have to wait and find out what happens and where this is going because it seems to not be finalized yet. I'll try to keep digging and reporting for you guys, but um, this is getting good. Maybe she comes back. Who knows? So leave your comments below. And as always, guys, I'm Frank Javier signing off.